Well, hello and welcome to One More Pen. Today I'm talking about the Parker Vector XL. It's a pen that is very familiar and well known, I think, to many of you, but the XL version was only released in the last couple of years. Now, I grew up writing with the Vector. Uh, it's a pen I've used forever and it's, it's really brilliant. I'll do a review on it um, sometime soon. But then we have the XL, which is, a, which is slightly different. Um, in many ways, I think it's, I, I wouldn't necessarily have called it a vector because in many ways it's unrecognizable as a vector. It doesn't really look anything like the old vectors. And it, it's, quite, it's kind of a pity. I, I really think the vector has some iconic, you know, uh, the clip and a few things about it that I think is really just, um, it's just vector and, and the new one doesn't, um, doesn't reflect all of that. But the XL does have some really nice features in terms of the way that it looks. And um, I think it's worth taking a closer look at it. I, I, I like this pen. I've been using it a bit. And um, we can take a closer look and do a writing sample and uh, see what's great about this pen and maybe what's not so great about it. Let's have a closer look at this uh, Parker Vector XL. I have three of them and it should give you an idea of how much I really like these pens. Um, I've always liked the Vector uh, the, and the XL is, it is really really nice. We will have a look at the blue one today but of course they're all the same. There are I think two other colors available. Um, I wouldn't mind having all of the others to you know complete the collection but I can't uh, justify that right now. So these will have to do and um, they're pretty good for now. So when we when we have a look at the vector, well let me get the old vector. Now, this is the XL but if we just compare these two pens very very quickly we can see that they, they don't really look similar at all. These are very different pens. Right, very different pens. So this is why I said that I don't I don't even know if this should have been called the Vector XL, but anyway. I really like these pens. The the body is metal. It has a matte finish, which is very, very nice. It's very pleasant um, to touch and hold. You don't have fingerprints on it uh, ever. So it's it's very very user friendly that way. Um, so very nice blue on the cap. You can see Parker. Nothing else on the cap there. On the finial though, we do get the Parker a Parker logo, which is I think a nice touch. Nothing at the bottom. And where the cap meets the barrel, we have. As part of the section, what looks like a like a ring there, but that's just the way the cap meets the barrel. Um, snap cap, very very pleasant that way. If we have a look at the clip, this is a very very traditional known Parker clip. Um, it is the arrow. We have the arrowhead and the fletching right there. I would have really liked if Parker found a way to bring some of the design of the original vector into the clip because I think this is so iconic. Um, it would have been nice if the this part, the fletching part, was just a little bit longer to sort of uh, mirror the original vector. I think that would have been a nice touch but alright, it is what it is. We uncap the pen, the section is semi-transparent, um, but it's plastic, it is matte and it's, it's nice and grippy. So if we take a closer look at the nib, we also see uh, Parker is written there. And I think if we have a closer look, there is an M for medium. I really have to look closer to see that. And we have some some pattern on the nib, which I think is a very nice touch.
and we use proprietary Parker other than the cartridge or the converter I prefer the converter so that I can use whatever ink I prefer everything is very smooth very pleasant everything fits very well all the lines are perfectly aligned the um, clip is very springy very functional um, Everything about the design and the bold quality of the pen is really nice. It's a it's a nice clean design. It has some um, some elegance to it. Um, it's it's really I think quite pleasant. If you're looking for something a little bit more formal, the black pen is I think this really does it does the trick. It's uh, it's very beautiful. The the vector of course is also very similar. To the Waterman earlier and I have the Deluxe here um, but you can draw your own conclusions but when you look at these two pens the similarities are I think quite quite apparent and if we uncap them we find even more similarities I think uh, slight differences in the design but very similar. Alright, I think it's time we do a writing sample with this pen. For the writing sample I'll be using my Rodeo dot pad and let's get to it. This is the Parker Vector XL with a medium nib. I've never seen any other nib sizes. Um, I have a feeling that maybe the medium is all you get. Uh, but if you found this pen in a fine, let me know because I think it would be really brilliant in a fine. The ink that I'm using today is, can you guess? for blue black I think the pen is plenty wet it's very pleasant uh, nice ink flow in terms of line variation Yes, you could you could get a little bit of line variation from it, um, but it's of course not a flex nib at all. It's it's a standard steel nib, so you do have to put some pressure on it. But you could if you wanted to. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't push the nib too far, but I think it's uh, I think it can handle a little bit of pressure. And of course Cosmo is jumping on the table and just got cat hair all over the place uh, but that's just the way it goes.
It might seem like the pen skipped once or twice, but that's really not the pen or the nib. That is simply the way that I'm holding the pen to be able to do the writing sample with the angle of the camera. So what can I say about this pen in summary? I think this is an excellent value pen. Um, I think it's actually it's actually quite cheap uh, where I find it. It's even cheaper than some of the jotters, which I think is interesting because I think this is really, really well built. It's beautiful. Uh, it's just good quality. The nib on the pen is excellent. I've got three of them and they're very consistent. It is a, it's a medium nib and the medium in the Parker is on the broader side, but it is very smooth, very pleasant. Um, I would absolutely recommend getting one of these if you don't have it. I don't think you will regret it. Um, so that's it from me with regards to the Parker Vector XL. If you haven't subscribed already, please do me the favor and uh, do subscribe, like and comment. Let me know if you have one of these, what your experience is like. And um, if you, especially if you've had one of the um, original vectors, how this compares for you and whether you think it's worth it. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.